all right good afternoon one and all welcome to the video in this video i would be showing you what software you should install on your windows machine as a full stack de developer uh, so let's get started without wasting much of time so by the way uh, my name is somil shah i'm a full stack software engineer what software do i have installed on my computer i'm gonna give you a tour of that so these are the software as a devops you should be having let's get started with that so the first and most important software, I love it personally. I have been using this since years. It's IntelliJ IDE. I have a professional version of IntelliJ IDE because I can run pretty much any code, JavaScript, Node, uh, Python, and, 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 and anything. So I would highly recommend to download IntelliJ IDE. Second is the VS Code. Uh, VS Code is one of the most popular plugins most of the developers use. So I would highly encourage guys to please download all of these stuff. Visual Studio, uh, if you're working with .NET, ASP.NET, web forms, anything, Visual Studio will really, really help you a lot. So I would encourage you to download that. Guys, one of the most important thing, if you're doing anything, you need Postman because you are gonna make requests, get, put, delete, and you wanna see the response and stuff like that. So Postman, number one imp most important thing. So download that as well. You wanna download Node, so make sure that your computer is configured for Node, so you can run basically um, Node on your command prompt. Like if I go on my command prompt, and if I say Node, so here you can see I have the version 12.4, so make sure you have Node installed, make sure you have Java installed, make sure Python, of course, most important. Then SQLite browser, if you are using, C uh, this will help you to see any database, basically SQLite browser. Most important, I use it a lot, pretty much, uh, Docker. Docker, do not download, uh, download Docker for desktop, okay? So, Docker for desktop, most important thing while doing DevOps. Team Viewer, because if anyone wants to communicate or if you have issues, you can, uh, the partner can basically connect to your computer remotely and he can assist you. So Team Viewer, I would highly encourage to do that. Slack for messaging stuff, it's most important. Git Bash, so what I mean by Git Bash, if you wanna go, if you wanna do a Git, like if you wanna upload anything to Git, so I can just say Git Bash here, and I can start uh, typing my Git commands right here, right, you can see. So here you can see. So Git Bash, highly uh, recommend everyone. Ubuntu subsystem for Linux. This is important. Now why I would say, because uh, if I go to the, what does Windows as App Store or Play Store? I forgot always. <laughs> so what Ubuntu for Ubuntu subsystem for Linux will do is basically will help you to run all your Linux commands and most of the Linux stuff on your Windows machine, but on your subsystem. So how you can do that is you can go here and um, you can say, just type Ubuntu and um, the first Ubuntu that comes up, uh, this one right here, download that. Highly encouraged to do that because for example, if I want to, let's say now, uh, use Linux commands, I can just say WSL, and now I'm directly into the Linux, so it's gonna open the Linux terminal right here, so I can see LS, see clear, all of that I can do, okay? So just to let you know, so please download that. Atom, it's again an editor, download that. Microsoft Teams for, of course, like uh, your company might be using that. Anaconda for data science, data visualization, for, keep, for quick scripting stuff. MongoDB Compass, if you're working with MongoDB to visualize stuff, you definitely wanna do Putty, PuttyGen and FileZilla. So Putty basically allows you to connect to remote server via SSH, PuttyGens will generate SSH RSA keys. Basically FileZilla allows you to transfer files on the remote server, 7-zip. Okay, that done. Uh, you need to set all your environment variables through command prompt. So make sure if you say Python node, you're able to run everything here. Run the Choco package manager. You wanna have Choco package manager. So you can install basically commands via Choco package manager, right? So like Choco, if I say Choco, I already have it uh, like installed. So I can just say Choco install or stuff like that. Skype, very, very important. So these are the tools uh, that I would recommend as a DevOps engineer uh, for anyone um, uh, who's just getting started with uh, full stack development. So these are the software pr pretty much I use um, uh, and I would uh, encourage or um, you guys to use as well. If I'm missing any of the softwares here in the list, kindly add it, I would, uh, put the entire list on a paste bin on my GitHub, or, or sorry, on my, uh, so if you go to my YouTube comment section, this all would be there. So make sure to download all of these. Uh, it makes your life much, 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 much easier. And for example, other things like Red, uh, Red, uh, Redis and all of that, if you wanna install, I would recommend the newest trend is guys, Docker container. 
So that's it for this video. Uh, hope you have enjoyed it. Uh, these are the popular um, software that I would recommend to download as a full stack uh, software engineer or getting started as a full stack developer. So make sure you have all of these software running, all your environment variables are set up, everything is up and that's it. So I hope you have enjoyed this video. If so, do give a like. If you have any more questions, please list your questions in the comment section below and I would be very happy to assist you. Once again, thank you for watching. Keep smiling, keep coding and see you guys next time.